Hey digital fam, my name is John D. Saunders. In today's digital blog, I wanna go over six essential mobile apps for entrepreneurs. Let's do this. Hey guys, I hope all is well. If you're an entrepreneur, business owner, blogger, I wanna go through six essential apps you all should own to be able to check your ads, track your engagement, stay connected and be able to respond to people on the fly. And I'm gonna show you guys these apps in real time and how to use them. Let's do this. Hey guys, okay, so I have my phone up in a real time environment. So this is actually my phone live right now. As you can see, I don't have a ton of notifications up just because I shut most of them down. I only have about six or seven apps that I keep notifications for because it really helps my productivity. So I wanna go through these six apps and then two bonus apps as well to give you guys a thorough understanding and kind of go through some of these apps that you might have on your phone that you're not really leveraging. So number one, of course, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, you wanna have Google Analytics. So I'm gonna open that up right now. Now Google Analytics is important because you're able to track all of your websites in real time. So as soon as I get on, I can see that this is one of our client sites. You can hit the dashboard on the left to get to the menu. But as I scroll down, I can see how they're performing in real time. And sorry, it's taking a while to load up. But this is great because if you're running a campaign and let's say you're out and about, you want to see how it's performing and how it's doing, you're able to pretty much see that through the app, which is really intuitive and super responsive. So I can see the users, their sessions, new users. It's essentially all of the information that's on Google Analytics on your desktop, right on your mobile phone. All right, so next up on our list is the Facebook Ads app, which performs really well. So if you have ads up for yourself or your clients, you can actually edit them and view them on the fly to look at their performance. So if you're out and about, it's really easy to jump into the app and make quick changes. So for example, this is uh, one of our accounts. We can hit this homepage and access all of our other accounts that we're a part of. But um, if I go into this ad, you can do quite a few options. So you can increase the budget, you can active or um, deactivate the ad, and then you can look at the ad's performance as well. So you can do all of that through the app, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, and then you can actually scroll to the top, look at all your content and go back to home. Now you can actually create ads on here. I haven't done it before, I like to kind of just look at performance while I'm on the go, but you can create a campaign. And then you can also hit the World app to get notifications on approval for your apps and your content. You can also hit settings, and that'll give you additional options of what cards are linked to it and all of that info. So yeah, Facebook ads app performs really well. It's quick for on the fly stuff, not really for the granular detail stuff that Power Editor or Facebook ads can provide on desktop, but it really is a pretty cool option to use. All right, next up, we've got YouTube Studio, which is uh, similarly another analytics app, but it performs really, really cool. So um, for YouTube, you can actually look at your performance of your YouTube channel that you own. So if I hit this, I'm in the dashboard, it tells me the watch time, how many views I've had, how many subscribers I've had, and this is usually content from the last 28 days. Now if I hit this menu option, I can look at my videos, my playlists, comments, and more. So I can actually go to comments and reply to the comments from individuals from the app, which is really cool. So if you get some instant comments, you can just hop into the app and answer it pretty quickly. That way you're not waiting and waiting days to perform and respond to messages. If I hit the menu again, I can look at analytics. Whoops. I can look at analytics. So that'll tell me how my ads are performing. I'm sorry, not my ads, how my videos are performing and how many views they're getting. It's really cool stuff. Um, estimated value zero because we haven't monetized our channel yet. I don't think we have enough subs yet. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> um, also, we can take a look at our top videos and the content that's performing really, really well. So yeah, that's a quick recap of YouTube Studio. Now, next up, I wanna talk about the Slack app. Now, Slack, as I've spoken in a lot of other videos, is a really cool app that lets you communicate with your team on the fly. So, for example, I'm just gonna pull up a message and go to our developer, and this is just our conversation with him. 
Um, but you, it's pretty much like WhatsApp for business. So you can look, you can answer messages, you can communicate with your team members and all of that via your phone. It makes it easy because if my web developer has a question or a concern about something, he can send me a Slack message. And if I'm at Publix or something or the supermarket, I can answer him pretty efficiently. Now, you can hit the plus sign, you can take photos, you can add photos, you can import files, you can do a lot of stuff from the mobile app. And just so you know, Slack is a communication platform. So it's like WhatsApp for business so that you can communicate within your team. Really cool. All these apps are free as well. So the fifth app, and let me go to Bitly, is a link shortener. Bitly essentially shortens your links for you so that you can track them via Instagram or whatever platform you're using. So I wrote a blog a few days ago about being a minimalist and how that lifestyle has changed me. And I created a, a tracking link called bit.ly slash minimal John. Now I did that all through this app. I didn't have to use my desktop at all because I wanted to share that link on my Instagram page. So when I did that, it tracked all the clicks. So it had five clicks on Instagram, not too many, but on Facebook, it performed really well because I posted it in some minimalist groups and such. And it also will tell me the location. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop a link in here. Then I'm going to hit create. All right, there's my link. And then it's going to give you a random link. So all you wanna do is hit edit, and then you can place whatever you like here on the bit.ly link. Now these are case sensitive, so, just, so keep that in mind. Try and keep it all lowercase. It makes it a lot easier. Okay, I'm just gonna put done just for now. And boom, now we have a trackable link and I can copy that and actually put it on my Instagram, Facebook, or whatever platform I need. So that way you can track your link performance to see how it's doing pretty easily without having access to your computer. Okay, so the last app, or actually, <clears throat> sorry, app number six, cause we've got two bonuses, is Mile IQ. So let me open up that app, which is really, really awesome. So this app automatically tracks all of your driving and you can actually choose personal or business for your drives. Now at the end of the year, all you have to do is export this as a CSV, send it to your accountant, and you're able to track all of your miles. Now, when it's tracking your miles in the background as you drive all to all these places, it'll give you a result like this. Now, if it's personal, you just swipe left. If it's business, you just swipe right. It's that simple. And when it drops into business, it automatically drops into a Excel spreadsheet, which you can export at the end of the year and send to your accountant for tax purposes. So this app, I have to say, is essential. It's uh, If you're doing 40 drives, it's free. Anything plus is about five bucks a month, but it's totally worth it because it saves you a ton of time down the road in tracking all of your driving efforts. Um, if I hit this little tab here, it'll give you monthly summaries, account settings, all of that good stuff. Um, a phenomenal app. There's, no, there's not much more I can say about it. So the next app is a little bit outside of marketing uh, and stuff like that, but Swarkit is an awesome app that lets you do quick workouts on the fly. So it's got workouts for whatever you're trying to do. If you're trying to do a quick minute workout, if you're in the office and you've got 10 minutes and you want to do something to get your cardio going or stretch, you can do these quick exercises pretty, pretty fast. So for example, if I hit strength and I do upper body, it'll give me a bunch of workouts that I can do. And then if I hit select workout, I choose my time and then I hit begin workout and I can do these quick, efficient workouts in, in a fast time with just myself, maybe a mat and an open floor. So for people that are entrepreneurs, you know, sometimes you get caught in the minutia of work and you're consistently working for a long time. Sometimes you need to take a break. You can do a quick five, 10 minute workout with the Swerkit app, which is free. They also have a premium plan and get your blood going so that you can crush your work. Now, lastly, our last app, I talk about this app a lot, is Asana. Now, Asana is a task management app. Oops, let's let that load up. That basically breaks down all of your tasks. So all of our tasks here are for our team members. I'm just gonna hit my task so we can see what we got today. And then it tells me what I have upcoming for uh, today and Friday. So I have more jobs in here. It's not organized by uh, task completed, but you can take a look here and you can actually act, add tasks to individuals. So for example, uh, if I needed our social media manager to create a task, I can go in here and do it while I'm on my mobile phone. So that way I, it acts as a reminder. So if I don't have time to get to a computer and add this to the job list, I can do it all straight from the app, which is pretty awesome. 
So you can see apps or completed things that were done recently. So sometimes I'll go into the app in the morning and check what's been completed by the team. And it's just an easy way to see all of your tasks without having to log into your desktop. That's all I've got for you guys today. Thanks. Thank you guys again for checking out our content. We appreciate every view, every comment, every like. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next week. Peace.